Back on Inside Tennessee with Knoxville mayoral candidates, Susan. Continuing on the law enforcement, one of the things that some of the other candidates have talked about is the pay scale for our law enforcement folks. And I guess the same would be true for any of the first responders, but particularly for our policemen. Where are you all on that? Is that something you'd like to see? I know we get raided by other counties that are paying more from time to time. So what can we, what can we do to keep them here and make sure they're paid appropriately? Two words, more money. Go more on. money, <laughs> but how do we get that? I guess that's the, that's the question. Do you, will you put that in your budget as mayor? Fletcher. I mean, absolutely. I think that right now the understaffing uh, is a big issue um, and they need to be paid better because it's a high stress job and I see great value in someone who's willing to risk their life every day to make Knoxville safe. Um, great value in that. Um, currently, the system that I was presented with with KFD, I met with them today, and it, it's a little bit arbitrary. I think it needs to be more solid steps that they hit and they know how to get there, when they're getting there, and it's more explained and more consistent. Um, because, you know, with the pensions changing, people are wanting more money in their pocket. And I think that it's our responsibility to maintain that respect and trust with our police force and fire department and first responders. And yeah. yeah, I support more pay for our first responders. Uh, of course, budget is always a concern, but the good thing, I mean, the mixed news is that our, we have budgeted positions in KPD that are currently going unfilled. So we could improve uh, our law enforcement just by filling those budgeted things. And there's a new class of cadets starting out the uh, week ago and they're, you know, they're sort of building up that core of people. So I support more pay, but I also support uh, fully staffing them. And the fully staffing will make uh, the job better because people won't have to work overtime. But They're to the point of staffing, that mm -hmm. new class has 19 members on a class that's normally 50. Mm -hmm. And of a typical class, one third drop out before the mm -hmm. end. Right. So we're likely to get 12 new officers out of this class when there is a need for at least 80 uniform spots, I believe is the number right. I heard recently. And uh, do you have a solution for that? Well, they just started a new recruitment effort. You know, they're trying to recruit millennials, so they're working on Facebook and, uh, and Twitter and other means. Um, so I think that's a positive. Uh, I think also, um, you know, raising the pay would be a big part of it and having the pay scale and, and steps be really transparent so people know what the starting is and then what they can earn as they stay on. Um, so I think I, I'd like to see the results of this uh, $125,000 investment in recruitment strategies and see if that improves things. Would that, would that include a tax increase if necessary to raise the pay for the first responders? Um, I'd have to wait and see. Right now, I don't think so. I think we could wait and see if we, there are other ways we can work out the budget to make that happen. It's all a matter of priorities and also what the economy tells. One, one reason we're struggling to uh, re recruit people to KPD is there's a really good economy. And so there's other options where they can have a safer job and earn more money. Mm -hmm. We're lucky that we still have so many dedicated people. They're drawn to the service of it because it's a very meaningful job that protects the public. So, uh, but with a good economy, it's hard to it's hard to pay the bills with just that service Michael. part. Uh, I'm definitely in, in favor of, uh, of of giving them more pay. I mean, you know, you really can't can't put a value on uh, on what they do. I mean, I mean, because if you think about it, I don't know if I just being honest, I don't know if I could do a job where when I leave the house, it's not guaranteed that I'm going back home. Mm -hmm. So you know, so so that definitely requires more more pay. Uh, I think maybe uh, boosting their their benefits package. Um, I think another thing too, as far as uh, as far as building up recruitment, would be to uh, to possibly go back to maybe like a junior cadet program, to where to where you you start grooming them maybe like from like middle school. And they have one. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. and I but I think that it needs more exposure. I, I think that uh, that it really needs to be pushed, and I think that by doing that. What it would do is that I don't think I think that it will cut down on the shortage of uh, that we have right now. We're going to take another quick break on Inside Tennessee. Back with more and a suggestion about who fills this job next from our former governor Bill Haslam. What he says that person needs to focus on right after this.